rat tails have a dorsal fin that uh -huh. sticks right up like a triangle. Uh, cusk eels don't have that dorsal fin, mm -hmm. but they both have that long tapering body. Um, cusk eels look a little bit, um, I don't know, more evenly uniform with for most of their body length and then taper right near the tail, whereas the rat tails kind of a more bulbous head and it tapers sooner. Yeah. And then cusk eels have these like little barbels uh, underneath. Oh no, the, the rat tail is a little barbel on its chin. The cusk eels have these filaments uh, that usually bifurcate. Thank you, thank you, Megan. We have Jeb back. Take it away, Jeb. Would you believe that uh, the platform down on deck has a crusty pin in the same position? <laughs> I believe it. It has the same crusty pin. Same crusty pin, and that platform wasn't recovered because there was any connection issues. It was because the uh, instrument had failed ah. uh, to produce valid data, but it was still talking. I am going to spend another minute or so, Dirk, if you don't mind looking what, no, that, no, no, no. what the function of that pin actually is. No, that's all good. Um, I don't know what to do with this little barnacle-looking thing. I, you know, I, I think if you jam that in to the other side, you might have some connection issues depending on how intact it oh. stays. <laughs> you mean the... That little squishy yeah. bit? I know it's pretty squishy, but it's um, inside the connector. You never know what it could do. Slurp? If we um, slurp, clean that do up? Do we have anyone on the arm? No. Yeah, just vacuum it out. Yeah, vacuum it out. Oh, is that Dan? Or? Yeah. Yeah. I'm I Need can some help, Dan? Oh, that's actually a really good idea. Can we use a suction? Sure. Thanks, Melanie. It's actually the viewers that suggested that. The viewers? Well, <laughs> oh, that's way better yeah. than my T-Boss. Oh, well, now we're reluctant to take that advice, right? Sure, I'll just jam that big uh, stainless steel pipe in there. Nope, Turn nope, nope, no, 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 see no. What happens. That's not what <laughs> don't get it all <laughs> the way in there. Don't jam it in. Well, that's what you're suggesting, but yeah. I go. don't think the stainless steel, I go think they're about video. the same Hold circumference. Away. They wouldn't go in. Uh, it might be. I'll be worried. I would be too. I think we just got to get it close and give it the beans and see. Yeah, full beans. Start maybe with half beans. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to go full. Side like of beans. <laughs> Side, yeah. Half My portion. screen keeps on going out. This is annoying. I can help you out, Dan. I'm good. All right. You can just be a one-man show. Fail. Please fail. Please fail. I don't know why that's so entertaining to me. Zoom in there, of course, please, video. Mm -hmm. 
Go to that. Is that good? Um, it falls in there. Falls in? Roger. There you got. Yep, that's full zoom. It's weird, eh? Well, it looks like there's still some good gold on the end. I don't know what that is. That is really weird. Yeah. yeah. My, uh, I can't connect to our uh, VPN, so I can't dig up that information right now. Okay, go away. But uh, go away. I'm going to say because it wasn't an issue on the previous platform, I'm not concerned about the corroded pin at the moment, but the little gooey bit maybe. We also don't really have any options, right? Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Good call. <laughs> that's the important so point. Plug it in. No suction that. See if we can't suction that guy out of there. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what it is, some kind of shell thing. Glob of oil from the D-mate? Yeah, I reckon that's it. You reckon that's it? Glob of oil. Yeah. That's what I would think. That would be my guess. It's just looking funky in the camera view there. So we're plugging or hoovering? Hoovering. Roger. Just in case. Jeb, was this um, was this seismometer not working? Yeah, it started out having trouble getting its uh, time synchronization from shore, and then became like almost impossible to use. Apparently, the processor was overloaded, and we couldn't configure it. Just kind of lost its mind. Oh. Do you know if that pin is a power pin or a data pin? It's looking kind of like power, but I'm just trying to dig that up. Oh, maybe I misspoke. I've got a handwritten note here that looks like I did, so we might not trust that. Might be uh, RS-232 pin for the pressure recorder. Okay. I'll keep digging. See, see some bubbles. What's going on, Dan?
going to get the steel pipe out and bash the connector with it, basically. That's what we're going to do. I, mean, I know it's a joke, but it just... Ah. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a bad idea, just for the record. But Could we just use the suction sample? Yeah. No, suction sample won't reach. And it's yeah. disabled for the eductor. So we don't want to stick it all the way in, just kind of suck near it. Why not? <laughs> For your, I mean, well, I was hoping it was implied that we don't want to stick it one in. One of the here. pilots said it was a bad idea, so that's why. <laughs> well, I'm just questioning if it's on its side. I, I'm not worried about it, but yeah, the plan is to stick it in there and roll it around, then definitely that's Perfect. not what we want to do. Perfectly controlled uh, one meter pipe. You know? Not a reamer. Let me know when you want to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Zoom in video. So we've got something weird going on with the pins there. Looks like either a creature or a blob of weird oil. Yeah, it looks like a creature, but it could be just those oil, right, from these connections as you made and unmade. And uh, well, suction. we're worried that if Spend it's a creature, later. we're going to stick it right into the connector when we try to mate it. But if it's oil, it wouldn't matter, but it's, so it's a tough call. And one of the pins is looking not great, a little crusty. Is that, we haven't started sucking yet, or have we? Not uh, yet. I don't think so. Okay. Oh, yeah, good. I see in the stills camera, a different view. Standing by for this. Yeah, makes sense. Does that help you at all, Dan? No. Give me something to do while I'm waiting. Uh, Lynette can do it. Can you put the DSC in PC2? I feel like this is a test. Let's see if I remember how to do it. Control Alt X, yellow thing. Zoom in there for my video. Yeah. I'm going to turn the bender off for our... It's causing a... Uh, 
think of it as plastic. Yeah, I don't know. I took I took a picture, a stills picture of it after they did it, but I can't dig up the picture for some reason. It's disappeared. Okay. The uh, the more trustworthy documentation tells me that's a ground pin for the bottom pressure recorder, so it is a power pin. Yeah, I don't think an RS-232 pin would smoke like that. <laughs> no. Well, minus 15 volts, but... You're talking about the one with the blob on it? The one uh, above. Oh, the, cr the one with the kind of corrosion, yeah. yeah something. missing some yeah. of its gold. Yeah. But... Um, I don't know why the arm's being spastic here, but... Okay. Turns out that the pressure whole vehicle's shaking. recorder was not uh, okay. functional after... Go for uh, suction. Suction coming We swapped on. the... Uh, 10%, 20, what did we swap? 30, 40, 50, yeah. 60. Ooh. That was a creature. Nice. No way. That's crazy. Thanks, Anonymous, on the chat. Yeah, Anonymous, thank you. <laughs> okay, so it's okay. Body. I don't know, was that care. oil or was that a creature? Uh, I came apart in multiple pieces. Uh, could have been either. Well, that, is that conclusive? I don't know. I don't know. I Go think we're good for the connection, though. Go oh, wide. Do it yes, please. That. Go wide. Sorry. That's great. Somebody was speaking over you. Usually, when there's corrosion on a ground pin, that's not good. Something was getting shorted. Do you want down lights on, Dan? No. Yeah. You can uh, rotate the magnum rest to the right though. could in fact fix the problem. It could fix the problem. So we are plugging this thing in, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I know with my phone, I have to plug it in like 10 times on my old connector, and then it works sometimes. Bless you. And the pins are definitely <laughs> like eaten away on the power pin. So, good work. I mean, not worth trying to power cycle or trying it too many times because we might lose the BBS or the BBS, but not worth that. Adequate. Yeah, if it's anything like my phone, it's like 15 shots. My phone has taught me anything about electronics. It's random. <laughs> Towards the vehicle. 
The sun is always tricky. Yeah. Uh, Paul right on there. It's even hard. We've been had a hard time pulling it off. Obviously not in the key slot there. Yeah, the key looks to be right at the top. Yeah. Pushing a bit, of course. Uh. Okay, that's good. What am I doing wrong? Might your grip be too deep? Dan, could it be that your grip's too deep on this? I don't know. No, it's not touching, but it should go past the pin. Yeah, yeah, that's that the true, grip's yeah. too deep. Yeah. That's cool. Oh, there that's, it that's it, yeah. No, it's at least in the pin slot. Floating vehicle is not helping. Nor is the flared out pin. <laughs> it could be that. <laughs> I doubt it. It's not in that deep yet. There you go. Nice. think so. I don't know. Get off it and see. Just, just there it is. Nice.
Okay, I'm going to wait. Um, next is we'll put the, um, Oily? no, we'll put the, what do you call it? Transportation thingy gizmo. Transportation. Oh, cap. the dust cap. Uh, the gray thing we have in the Magnum. Yeah. The dust cap. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a dust cap effectively. Yeah. We'll take that and we'll put it in the toolbox and then we can grab on to do the oily one. Yeah. Because you'll have to be up out of the mud, so you'll have to fletcher. So you might go clean yourself off and then come back, and so you can you can yeah, and you might want to stow the you can come up and then stow the slurp too. Okay, I'm out of here. Band. Okay, so I'm going to lift up and I'll stow. I don't know. Do you need a lift up? We're just going to stow that connector, uh, that dummy, right? Oh, this one on the left? The one that's in, uh, in the main. Yep, yeah, okay. Never mind. Never mind. And then we need to connect the oily after that, correct? Yep. So we'll stow this, pull the dummy off. Put the other one in the Fletcher and prepare for a connection. Toolbox? Yep. Into the toolbox. Toolbox coming out. Downlight out. Downlights would be nice. Bombs away. Train. <coughs> I think we need to slide forward a few feet if we can. Okay. I don't think I can reach this guy, can I? Well, I can reach that, but I want to put that in the box in uh, Fletcher first, I think. Can I get this? Oh, I can. Freeze fail. Freeze fail. The worst possible point. Fletch it like this. I don't 
think so. Do a little smear. I might have to have you uh, clutch out when I get this guy slotted. Wait for viz viz viz. Oh my god, like a giant entanglement hazard right in front of me. What could possibly go wrong? It's gonna really bite me. Yeah. Let's roll. <clears throat> A little faster than I wanted it to be. There's just so much stuff tangled on this thing. Well, that one I think is just in your grip. It is, but if I drop this guy, I drop everything. Yeah. What do you think? Should I set it down? Um, just give it a second. We'll wait for the. Fizzed a little better. If you set it down right there, will it stay? I think so. Let's try. Just if you like, just loosen your jaw grip just a little bit. Yeah, and then now uh, you can grab it without the. Get that rope out of there. <coughs> There's another rope in my way. There's always rope in my way. And a blue cable. And a green cable. Because why not? Okay. Do this the old fashioned way. Oh. Try doing it on my lap. Can't do it. <laughs> Not stable enough.
Thanks. Okay. Can you uh, pan up and uh, rack out? Video, can you zoom in on that? That's good. Pant rack back, zoom out. Put this back in the box. Okay, box is shut. Can I get you to pull it out? Careful. Yep, I thought I was frozen. Good. Come on. Let go now. I think you're pulling too much towards us. Mm -hmm. oh, That's what fine. it looks like, yeah. Yeah, there, that should be good. Ah, thank you. It's really hard when you have one and a half views. <laughs> this, is, this next one is going to be actually pretty hard because it's a upside down one. Uh, it looks like the pin sits at the top, and uh, you're pushing up against nothing. Yeah. Yeah, that's so great. We may have to uh, shove forward with the vehicle. Yep. Um, I'm wondering. Uh, did you put. I wonder if we first have to flip that thing the other way. Otherwise, it's going to be impossible. Uh, I don't know if you can flip the other one the, it the other way when. Uh, the cable's there? Yeah. Yeah, Dan felt like the cable on the backside was uh, contacting the platform in a uncomfortable way, I think. Okay, so then, uh, yeah, I guess go for it. I'm gonna jump forward. I'm gonna bring the arm back. Uh, the parking position for next time is a little long. For this platform. That should be good, that should be good there. Or the parking little Fletcher plate. It also looks like it's not quite wide enough. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, I think I must have been thinking of the, the standard flood routes when I put that one on.
We might have to grab the platform like we did earlier. Yeah, because this is how we would normally mount like a regular parking position. So the cable's up and out of the way of the... Yeah. Well, it's going to get all dusty, so let me just sit down here for a second. Okay. I think the positioning's good, though. <coughs> Bubble cam, it's probably be right where I want it. Can you turn on blue channel? There you go. Do we want to grab the platform with uh, Mango? I mean, Mag Magnum? Magnum. <coughs> Let's see how close we are. Maybe we can. Looks like if we just reach out with the arm, we can grab it. God. The other option <laughs> we can do is I can put this back into the Fletcher and we can grab that unit, put it in Magnum's hand, make the connection, and then set it in position. Um, I think we're going to, yeah, it's not a bad idea. Um, Because there's no support behind this plug. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think it's going to work. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you. I think, yeah. So when we have this back, I think let's go that route. I, I think it's going to be, we're, we're just going to flick it out the back yeah. the other way. So I'll put this halfway into the Fletcher and uh, I mean, grab well, that. Well, hold on one sec. Maybe try-ish. And if it yeah. looks fishy, then we can always stop. Okay. OK, 
Okay, video, can you zoom in a little bit? That's good. Can I get you to pan up? Beautiful. Plus I'm shouldered all the way up. Close. It's close. Uh, yeah, I think you're in the keyway now. Oh, yeah, I think you might be in it. No. Video. I don't know if that's gonna help me. I can um, I can check the still. I can zoom what in there zoom? for you. I don't Is think video is gonna help me. Hold I on, can check me. it here. One second. Oh. I think you're on the keyway. This bubble is in the absolute worst position possible. You are not on the QA. <laughs> okay. Good to know. Oh, that's smart, Dirk. That looks like you're, I can see the key now. Slightly clockwise. Oh, oh yep. Yeah. I think you got it, yeah. So I'm on the keyway, key's in, so now I just gotta give it to the... Oh, you got Click. it, yeah, good work. Would it um, hurt anything if we turn the battery on now, or better we wait till after? Uh, my preference would be for once the power is applied from the junction box, which I think is probably this step anyway. Yeah, I think we should do that. Then, okay. uh, yeah, it can be turned on. Let's see if we can <coughs> get out of there now. You got the magnum stuck out there. Yeah, the criteria are all the connections yeah, being be made. Yeah, check in. power and, and communication. Well, that's a cool picture of Crimea. Yep. Oh, missed it. I don't know if you got any wrist up there. I'll just float up. 
Yeah, just load up and get it out of there. <coughs> Climb you gonna be right in video frame. If you turn to the left. He's up in our overhead. <laughs> That is the coolest picture. Fish in the fish eye? Hmm. Yeah, he was looking right at it. Okay. He just stole that Fletcher at some point. And a suction nozzle. Suction nozzle's fine out there. Okay. Not worried about it jamming into the mud? No, I'm over it. I think I'm gonna want like a, what did we do last time? Zero four five? Like a three one five oh. heading this time. Yeah. For uh, current. Okay, so now we're there. Now we go back to this section of the knife plan. Excavation. Yeah, what's next? Um, back to excavating. Back to excavating. <clears throat> so not here, but at the other, um, the other end, right? At the other cable. Circle around the three one five, Jake. Good. Good come left. Well, I already got one point three tether wraps. So. Uh -huh. Better come right then. <laughs> Something got caught in all this. Oh, yeah. Uh oh. He Did got too close to the. Did our fish friend just turn into sushi? So Dirk, we are theoretical ready for power yeah. of the no okay. Yeah. Practical we are not because it's not yet connected in topology. We are working on it now. Yeah, we're just checking. Um, let me okay. make sure I get this, but I think we're just checking Ooh, power and comms. Red on this one. To power on JB thirteen port J one and I have a high security representative to confirm communications from shore. That's what we're doing. Over there. Funny, now you can see the cable track. Uh, 
I should be able to see the case on. I don't see it. We're not in the right place. In the right place. No, it's got to be the right place. Um, I wonder if we took off when. Um, yeah, this is definitely no, all of this could, glass You could beads, definitely though, right? see the case on. Yeah. This might be where we pumped out a bunch of oh, stuff, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, that might be all, uh, a tailings pile. Yeah. But, yeah, you're right. We did see the case, and I'm wondering if we somehow covered it. Oh, definitely covering it now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that amount of beads, that seems like a lot. See, one hook distance away. X marks the spot <coughs> to your right. To my right? Well, the net's had an X on it. But I thought it was right by the end of the cable, wasn't it? Yeah. It was because that's <coughs> where, otherwise we wouldn't have found it. It doesn't make any sense for it to be over here. But yeah. It's this, this guy, right? Hmm? That guy? Yeah. No, it must have been that by the end of the cable there. Must have been oh, Yeah, the position must just be off by yeah. several meters. Oh. Come up five meters, Danny. <laughs> There's our tailing spawn in on the right. Oh, there it is, to the left there. You're right, Dan. So now you want a 315 heading. But the caisson's on your left, Jake? Yeah, left. on your left there, yeah. <coughs> oh, I see it. That's what we're looking for. Yep, one hook distance away. If the current's still blowing the right way, but... Atlanta must be blocking Herc's beacon. Why it's wonky. Atlanta is directly on top. Somewhere in there, maybe. It's a great spot. Let's store the, uh, we're done with that Fletcher, right? Yeah, we're done with that parking position. Okay. Yep. Or I mean the parking position. Right? <coughs> Can I get Poach out? Nope. Okay. Let's stir the viz. Well, I'll see what I can do. Yarn <coughs> pit grab. Well, you could get Poach out, and you'll have zero visibility. Oh. I'll make this work. Always up for a challenge, Dan. That's why I'm here.
Okay, back back, toolbox out. Unless you want it in the bio box. No, we still have to put larval traps there eventually. Gotcha. Bombs away. What's the record time for digging one of these out? <laughs> what is it? Can I get the camera <laughs> to the right? You're not on what? SPL right camera now. Camera to the Oh, but you're on yeah. this part. Yeah. Yes. Camera to the right. I keep thinking I'm muting myself when I'm talking to someone else, but you guys are all hearing me still. So. All right, I'll go to mute next time. <laughs> yeah, I guess I got to bubble it. Okay. If you wreck back. I, I was wondering why it's only ever <laughs> like one person telling me you're not on STL. Yeah, it's buried in the mud though. And the pilots always seem to hear what I'm saying. All right, figured it out. 15 days in. <coughs> what was the question again? <coughs> this one somewhere. Sorry, the, the question was, what was the, uh, what's the record time for getting one of these out? Uh, recovered one, I think we've only ever recovered one once. Oh, yeah. And I don't even think it was fully buried, so it's, I don't know. You're just stirring it up more there, Dan. I'm just getting a big clot along it out of the tip. Hopefully it still works. I, I think this thing, unless you're sucking up rocks the size of that orifice, I think it's got quite some jam on the suction. Give me some suction, please. We'll see. <coughs> Video, zoom in, please. Full beans on the suction. Okay. That's good. Huh? Good. Just keep pressing down, Danny. Yep. Just keep going down. All the glass beads will go into the hole. Yeah. yeah. Just keep going down, 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 and it'll be a big ant hill, and they'll all cave in. You can submerge well, that thing, it'll be fine, I think. I think it's making a cloud under the vehicle, though. <laughs> yep. Okay, I can see it in the uh, beautiful camera, also known as steel cam. Let's look at some other little flapper, yeah. croc. Sea cucumber or something, flopping around. So just as you're poking around in there, you want to stay on the sides because there's a seismometer in there with it. Yeah. Hoping once we get rid of all the stuff on the stuff on the top, it won't be as dusty. It's kind of mesmerizing to look. It's awesome. It looks like it's like molasses or like uh, melted rock or something. It's kind of I mean, this is better this than you have when you're diving. This is way better than straight to Georgia. <laughs> yeah, there's not a lot of grass and chunks of rope and stuff that you're trying to suck up. It almost looks like a lava lamp. <laughs> yeah. Puzzle, right? You work from the edge, work your way in. And the grabber radio, let me know if you want relief. All right. The dance, like, I'm over it.
Dirk, the stills camera only does not record continuously. It only records when you're taking pictures. Only the pictures, yeah. yeah okay. Oh, yeah, that's too bad. Didn't he just get done, done telling me don't stick it in the mud? What's this? <laughs> uh. I don't think, he, like, if when it comes to no rocks, I think you could just plunge it. I don't think it, uh, I think it'll just blurt out everything. Yeah. Yeah, work around the edges. Yeah, That's work, your work around the edges. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cover the edges. Don't plunge my way in the middle. <laughs> I didn't. Uh, I don't know if my uh, stainless steel pipes are really gonna hurt your titanium uh, sphere, but <laughs> yeah. I, I did, when we plunged it there, did it look like it kind of didn't like that? I, I couldn't really get a good feel for whether it stops. Oh, no, it's still going. Yeah, she's still going. Look in the uh, bubble cam. You get a really cool uh, mosaic. Oh, yeah. It's coming from the whole... I don't think you're in there anymore. No, I'm not. I'm going to come over here and... Suicides. Yeah. I just thought a little bit. <laughs> think Atlanta just had lunch. <laughs> these all of these get very hungry. We love seafood. Oh, nope. there's a chunk. There's a chunk. Chunk of beads. Jeb, you must be excited to see that again, right? The top of the seismometer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Still there. I don't know. If I say yes, does that... That gives me what I want, I guess. <laughs> I am, in a certain sense. There but you go. That's all I need. These bees are waterlogged. <laughs> yes, I am. I'm wondering if the viewers are more on the fence if this is boring or this is exciting. Oh, this is so exciting. I think this falls into the weirdly satisfying category. Yeah. We could make a whole TikTok cream, channel Blizzard about this. What's that? DQ. Cookies and cream bl blizzard from Cookies DQ. And cream. That's a good one. Yeah. I love watching the hose. Look at the hose in bubble cam. But yeah, I suck up these big bubbles. I mean, I am kind of thrilled about how fast this goes compared to the first excavation. Well, this is before we had an actual yeah. venturi and we're just doing the, yeah. Yeah. the momentum of water suction except this thing is susceptible to clogging from from like a snail or a hermit crab or something like that just kills it i'm really curious how well a uh, mining dredge will work in here <laughs> how well you'd get it in if it's six inches dirk what's the principle of operation for this type of pump for the pump? Or this type of suction? He said venturi, like it's a reducing so it's a, a diameter. It's a cycling. jet of water inside of a uh, pipe that creates a s low pressure area on the back side of the jet, which creates right. a vacuuming effect. Oh, okay. That's that, yeah. You know, when I woke up this morning, I did not know I was going to be vacuuming the bottom <laughs> of the ocean. It's very satisfying. I hope my wife's not watching and be like, well, you can vacuum the house. <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> They're like, what are they doing? It's like, you guys have done a lot of stuff, but this, this is interesting. Yeah, What's this going tops on here? the list here. <laughs> Gotta ask. I'm surprised that it's clumping. I wonder what and why it's doing that. Um, they kind of came clumped in the bags a little sometimes. Yeah. yeah. I guess it must have gotten wet somewhere along its package life. Or <laughs> Do you think it's wet right now, dear? <laughs> like when it was dropped into well, the ocean? Well, <laughs> wet and dry, right? I know what oh, you mean. I yeah. know. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, walk into that and set me no. up. Jeff. Come on, video. I'm <laughs> we just... Yep, I'm going to pull out just a little bit. It's not what you asked, it's how you asked it. Yeah, it's all right. That's right, I apologize. Just get reset up. Yeah. Get the arm in a good spot. I've been really happy I was with that. I was at a uh, locked position on my <laughs> job. The dive has but been going for these size. Here you go, you can zoom, back, zoom back in. Okay. Going back in. Yep. Let's work over here a little bit. I can rack out, get a better view. What is uh, that little guy? Ooh. Oh, let's suck him up and find out. <laughs> it's a Tina 4. Tina well, there's where all our, all our cable slack is, Jeb. It's all in this hole. <laughs> 15 meters of it. So are we going to be cutting open bags of, bean, of beads to fill this hole yeah, back in? Yeah, so once, like at some point, we're just going to pull this seismometer out, and we're going to go probably, I think we're probably pretty close to that point where we can just lift this out and then we'll continue dredging to make room for the new one but if it becomes like a bit of a hassle to try and get around this one then we'll start that I think I'm still sucking I don't know. go a little deeper yeah compared to some of the 17 hours of I think we've done this with your um, Some weight right there. suction sampler once, and yeah, it was painful. Yeah, 17 hours or something of this. The new seismometer is powered on. We are currently contacting John D to test communication. Okay. Look at that! Look at that! Beautiful. Yeah, you can still see the debris in the clear tube mm -hmm. every time, yeah. It's like you had a dentist. I'm just curious what kind of comments we're getting on the viewership right now. If any. Um, we've got ASMR. Danny, what flavor is this? Oh. That was a question that's been submitted. We need sound. We need a hydrophone. The sound think, must uh, be Danny, amazing. Danny, I think we're good there <laughs> for now. Yeah. If we want to... Stop, let's let the visibility clear, we'll get yeah, a view of that. Alright, coming, coming down on the suction. Now, somewhere along here there's going to be a staple probably right near this thing, unfortunately. As we're lifting it out, but what can you do? Dirk, I dug up my notes about uh, doing a caisson for a Titan for earthquake early warning. Yeah. It took 10 hours over four dives. Yeah, because they keep okay. plug clogging. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Where was this? Was this um, upper slope? Uh, mid east. Mid east. Okay. Yeah, I, get, I don't know what year that was. No, I think I was I was on one cruise where we did three of these, and yeah, they were very long. How many are we doing? On this cruise? Yeah. Just this one. <laughs> <laughs> and it's almost over. We could do a couple practice ones. <laughs> yeah, you want case on it? Let's go install some. <laughs> Okay, where is your handle? Still buried. Yeah, but we can lift it out before. It doesn't have to be. I don't know, but the handle's buried. I think it's, no, I think it's, you can see in the yeah. still cam, or it's like ah, this here. There it is. Oh, yeah. It's a bucket handle. Right by the connector. So we'll just have to be very careful, but I think we've suctioned, suctioned enough for now. Okay. 
Okay, well, let me uh, stow my uh, my wand. Stow your wand. What flavor uh, shave ice do you think this is? Coconut? Italian ice. There was a comment that came in 7 Eleven Slurpee Day. Is it 7 Eleven? It is. Today's the day where you could walk into any 7 Eleven. You can and get yourself you a free I mini. Yep. I see. How fitty, fitting is that? I don't want a Slurpee. That jellyfish went dig out real quick. Okay, so I'm just saying this out of precaution, but you're going to be right up against that connector as you're trying to reach in there and get that handle, so just be careful. Okay. Oh, well, not quite there yet. No, no. When you are. I'm going to do a smear campaign. <coughs> Would it make sense to reposition and get closer and have a better view? So we don't risk... Uh, I can see it really good right here. Okay. And see here? Yep. I think if I come in with a small, if I come in with my closed jaws against the side of the case on, I can push it out and then... Does the other bubble cam also see it? Bubble it cam can see it when it's in the yeah. right position. Okay. I have to uh, redeem myself in my holstering. You could just chuck it like Dan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's going to get plugged, but. I mean, I totally could, but I don't want to get it caught up on. Much better. Okay. <coughs> and just adjust bubble for me. Move the vehicle. You, um, can you get a, a pinch grip on there? Because uh, then you could just lift up from there too. It probably would be all right. Oh. Okay, are we going to fly uh, to get this thing out of here? Or? I know, but just a slow lift <coughs> first, I think. Okay, going in crane mode. It does look like the nose of the manipulator is touching that connector, so yeah, is it? nice and easy. I think it's just free of it. Just the perspective, maybe. Very close. Okay, just can you keep your... No, I think it's free. Yeah. Free's there. 
Zero millimeter clearance. Nice, Danny. Clearance is clearance. Clearance. Roger. Roger. Sorry, I was in the T-handle grip. It's the only way to hold on to that thing. Yeah, yeah. No, it's good. Okay, so the new cable needs to come from the east to the west, So, and we've laid this out towards the north of the auxiliary platform. So the next step would be to... Uh, I guess what we can do, if, Danny, if you could place it maybe just over here, anywhere off to the side where we can reach, and we will pick it up later again when, once we've excavated this. Okay. Can I get a pan up on the camera, uh, Jake? Thank you. So there seems to be a staple right there, but it is strain relief, so not worried, too worried about that. That stable should, should pull out. Are you stuck there, Dan or Danny, or uh, are you just... Staple is staple. holding me down pretty well. Okay, stop there then. Um, can you bring it closer to us and then lift up? Kind of towards the cable-ish. I can set it right here. Will it stay? Okay, just remember you're on that connector potentially, right? So, and we don't want it rolling. Yeah, that's forward. why I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, if I let go, let me see if I can uh, sit up. I take your time, and we gotta kind of be sure that it's Let not gonna fall. Let me see if I can get this guy to go. There we go. Can you kind of just like jostle a little bit into the mud there? You know, like side to side. Just a little. Okay, yeah, that's probably fine. With masses locked, uh, Jeb, is it a big deal if this ball rolls away? Yeah, it's happened before. I think it can handle it. But it's not ideal. I mean, okay. It's currently not functional, but I think that's for a digital reason. Yeah. Now, good luck trying to get your exactly. minip out of there. John D just confirmed communication with the new BBS. Okay, that's great news. Thanks, John. Nice. All is secure. Okay, I think um, we'll wait for Viz and s look back into that. You can even turn your suction sampler on and we'll just suck water out of there for now to try and clear up that visibility inside the hole. But we are going to be sucking more, so. Okay. What we should have done, Jeb, yeah. is made this a two-in-one so that this is the also a measuring stick for how deep it is. The suction, the, uh, the suction as opposed wand. to needing two things. That'd be handy. It'd be funny, though, if you don't turn it off and you're like, huh, it's getting deeper. I can stick it in a hole and not worry about damaging anything now. Yeah. Yeah, because otherwise that kind of the sediment in the bottom will just not settle. It will take a long time, but maybe if we can suck the water out of there, it will do something. Do you have any idea how tall that um, that thing is? The stainless steel pipe? Yeah. Mm, two feet. I guess we can kind of, can you, um, Danny? Yes. Can you put it next, kind of hold it next to the seismometer and kind of give it a reference for? How wide is your case on? Uh, I'd rather, like, just, the, we're trying to bury a seismometer, so 
Gotcha. We just have it that same distance. So about the size of uh, up to yeah, the pipe. Uh, yeah, up to like pipe. the top of the electrical tape or something. Can I get a zoom in on that video? Oh. Yep. Careful. Yeah, I would say to the top of the electrical tape a little deeper. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. So, yeah, almost, yeah, perfect. Do we want to power off the new BBS again? Um, we will probably before we move it. Okay, I'm going to so, do yeah. one of these. Yes. yes. Yep, can do. Beautiful. Oh. Uh -oh. Without knowing, I think we're just going to power it down. They sometimes don't come back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, am I powered on? Yep. Full suction. Mix the witch's pot. Boil, toil, bubble, and... What are you saying? <laughs> He's doing spells. <laughs> 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 I was like, what is going on here? I just can't have any fun, and what's the point of doing it? Yeah. Okay, video, zoom in on that hole. Can do. Perfect. That good? Yeah, yeah. that's good. I can still see the hose, see everything I'm doing. You saw that dust, Ed. Covered all the lights up pretty quick. Danny, I think. I don't think we'll plug it. No, I'm just trying to get the right angle. Oh, okay, sorry. It is going fast. Yeah, that, pump's, like, that pump is killer. Compared to what we're used to seeing, like an inch an hour, inch and a half hour, or something like this. Oh my gosh! Yeah. <laughs> it's all in the technique. Well, you do a few, you do a few suctions, and you bring it up, and you like shake it out outside, and you do a few suctions, and you have to shake it out. <coughs> I mean, it's a little unfair. Yeah, we're just sucking. This thing's got beaks. some jam. Does not handle a hermit crab well, though. <laughs> Instant block. <laughs> Insta block. It's going, it's, I can't believe how fast it's going. Like we're, we've already gone down like six inches. I think we're almost where we want to be too. Just maybe the near side still, but we do have a lot of bead bags, so we might as well go deep. Deep is better, right? It's better, yeah. You will get to, eventually. You'll get to mud again. Well, we'll know it when. Uh, well, will we know it? Might be at mud now. We just want the bottom to be nice and even, though. 
Yeah, so what's, because yeah. it's like, it's got the kind of that thin foot rimmed yeah. foot, you can really kind of wobble it in until it, the egg kind of touches. So I can put this on my resume as a seismometer size installation technician. <laughs> <laughs> Slash I think ocean vacuumer. I Slash ocean vacuumer. Ocean vacuum ex uh, yes. extraordinaire. I think uh, underwater uh, would be key in that. I guess. Underwater, yeah, underwater would be a good. Uh, <laughs> That's if it sets you apart from deep sea. The real <laughs> deep sea vacuum specialist. <laughs> deep sea dredging specialist. Yeah, just a vacuum specialist. I don't think if that's going to set you apart. <laughs> I'm yeah. having way we're too well much fun with this, we're, so. right, we're well within the, would you, guys, would you say we're in deeper than the tape at this point? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean. Yeah. I think just the near side, Danny. I think we haven't done much on the, like, right up against the wall. And then. I'm just trying to keep a nice level playing field down here, you know. The machinist in me and perfect level flatness kind of thing. I think it's starting to look really flat now, yeah, but won't know until it clouds are gone. Yeah, hold it there for a second, then we'll just su hopefully suck that water out. Can you see in that still camera how? I think lumpy it's it plugged. Is? Uh, I can I can see things inside the. Or is that a shadow? That's a shadow in the pipe. Yeah, it it was, it's still sucking. It is okay. I can. Like no, nah, it's blood. <laughs> <laughs> things are going the wrong direction. <laughs> Maybe give it a couple shakes. But I think that's that's the end. Yep. That would do it. Yeah. All right. That's all we do. Is the is it still on the pump? No, I turned it off. Okay, I wonder if that's what it was. Then. No, I can give it a little bang bang. I try Not in the mud though. <laughs> you uh, yeah. see what the pump does if we turn it on? I did. I just cycled it. And it does nothing now. It's still yeah. Just okay. I think we're deep enough anyway. We're good. Okay. We can stow the suction. Come on, video. We must have gotten through into the mic. Thanks. Found a hermit crab or something. <laughs> Good look down in there, and it's like four feet deep. <laughs> a meter deep. Oh. That was not... Making the connection to the broadband was more of a time-consuming thing than this. Yeah, I didn't predict that. <laughs> Back on schedule. Unfortunately, once that's on deck, it's going to spill all that. What's a uh, bubble cam? I can't see what I'm... I think I'm right on the edge of that pipe. Yep. Please fail. I'm only threading a needle over here. You got it. You got it. Oh. 
Oh, it's caught over your shoulder again. Ejecto Cedo. I would say just leave it to the right. Yeah, it'll be fine. Okay, so next step, can we um, grab this staple that's there and just kind of pull it out and just place it next to the um, next to the case on? We can use it for the other install later. So your uh, bottom of your bucket looks pretty flat. Yeah, I think that's good. I mean, I don't think we're able to suck any more out of there. Because it's all that stuff we saw falling out. Normally, the whole tube all the way back to the clog pump is, uh, or the clog venturi is all like that, just solid. So it's unlikely we're going to be using it again. Yeah, if we just kind of put it off to the side. Oh, there's an arm there. Oh, you might be pegging it again. Oh, never mind. And there's another one, actually. I think I see another one right there. I don't know if you can reach that I don't that know if I'm able to reach that. Uh, uh, maybe there isn't one. I thought I saw one, but... Well, uh, that's maximum throw, so... No, yeah. okay. All right. Uh, freeze fail. I think there might not even be another one there. All right, so the next step, what we want to do is take this old seismometer, and then we'll go fly it over to its connector. Okay. I do want to stow that if we're done vacuuming. Yeah, we're done vacuuming. That thing's toast. Ricky, did John confirm communications to the BPR as well? I haven't asked on it. Okay. Well, he doesn't need to power it back up, but if he, I was just wondering if he checked BPR as well as the. Um, I can ask, but it's powered down at the moment. Yeah, that's fine. Now I gotta have that motion with that arm in that spot. I need you to push out. There's no way I can do it with it all the way in. That's the problem. Uh, I'm not gonna push out here because I don't want to. Yeah, we'll just, just go fly over there. And um, I can also do it mid water. All the stuff we just excavated stuck in the back of the vehicle. Yeah. Oh. Okay, that didn't work. giant pile of glass beads sitting right behind Hook. I'm just gonna 
Wait for the vids to get a little better. Yeah. <clears throat> Look at that mess. Yeah. <laughs> Mesmerizing, actually. Just watching it go. Are you just hanging out? Yeah. Is that from you uh, taking off, or is that from us dredging? That's probably from us dredging, and then also taking off, just lifted it all. I'm sure dredging buried one of our legs, because the exit is coming out the side. So we probably even took off, opened up a giant... I'm gonna Cloud. Sort out some tether wraps while we're waiting. Yeah, if you can punch out too, that'd be. Is that our little frame there, or what was that on the left there? Oh, that's really cleared up. Every spin, I guess. <laughs> Thin pile. That's <laughs> impressive. Sandbox. So we're gonna want to fly back west. With this here is fine. We just wanna yeah. And then we want to kind of follow that cable. Yeah. So first come up actually. First come up. Yeah, straight up. In case there is a staple that we're kind of pulling it out, not it. And shear. Quite a lot of fish here, actually. Okay, so you want me to follow the cable and look? Yeah, if we, we pick it up, we'll just kind of like come up in the okay. column, kind of like we did saying. the first time. Just yeah, yep. if there are staples and we're pulling straight up on them and not... Um so, Jeff, this one is fairly well strain relieved in the end. Yeah. I think the... Uh the only one I know for sure wasn't was that new one we put in that doesn't have the mechanical handle that just yeah. has the bridle, so it probably didn't trigger my memory to to straight relieve that one. Okay. Well, what's the plan? Uh, can we grab it, this guy at the top, but kind of off to the side, just so we avoid any potential contact with that connector? Yeah. yeah. We gotta pick this seismometer up and walk it back along its cable. Come up and then walk it back along its cable. They look our friends back to see what we're doing. It's like so you got a claw there. Good grab. You happy with that? Yeah, that's that's perfect. Yeah, 
Okay. Alright, swing it out to the right just a little bit. So I have some view. You happy with that clearance, Jeff? From the connector? <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> it's just off camera, but. Can you guys look, uh, look up a little bit? Oh, yeah, looks off to the side. Yeah. Yep. That's, that's a good way to pick them up. Yeah. On the new ones, the connector's down on the side, right? In yeah. A safer spot. I thought that we're the one we're deploying has it at the top as well. The Orcus in uh, the new housing, the one with the uh, yeah, yeah, gotcha. bridle, yeah. yeah, that's the way that they're making them going forward. Do you want me to set this on the porch? Uh, or are you good? Yeah, yeah, if you can put it over the porch, it's probably a smart idea. I didn't think of that, but... Oh, just slow, right back here. Slow. Okay, and I can see in the stills camera that it doesn't look like there's there are any staples. If there was, we just lifted be. it up, and it's falling off now. Yeah, okay. there always could be a, a, a surprise one a little further along. But yeah, there was just, just a little shorty that just fell off. But they're like, I can't see anything. Floating up, I got it in bubble. I think what we have here has already been pulled off the ground anyway. So okay, right. Give give you some oh, look at that skate. huge. Massive skate coming by. Okay, so the plan is to just fly this back to towards it connectors? Towards its connector, yeah. Okay. Dirk, yeah. John D did not check communications to the BPR. He's asking whether we want to check this communication before we install the new BBS. Um, I guess it's not important. Okay. Not, it's not going to change anything. So. Okay. Thank you. Once once we're done here, if we can check them, then. the connector yeah okay perfect just anywhere there If we can place it in a spot so we can kind of reach all three things when we land later on. Yep. Let me know when you're stable. Stable. <coughs> I am planted on the on the cable there. Maybe on the connector. No, you can. How's that look, Dirk? That looks perfect. Yeah. Okay. Oh, 
Awesome. <coughs> okay. Next step, we want to go grab the new instrument mm -hmm. and bring it over to the um, caisson. We already flew that over, didn't we? Yeah. Over here, yeah. Hey, now, when we land, oh, oh look at the size of that thing. Look at that oh. skate. Just take a couple seconds for it. <laughs> okay. So when we land, what you're saying, Dirk? Um, when we land, there's a north marker on this thing. And we're going to want to land kind of so it's a roughly north, like gross alignment, because we will do some fine tuning later on. Okay. But just like that, just so we don't have to try and spin it 180 later. So it looks like the north marker is facing away from us. Yeah. And just the same grab as you had before, Danny. That was perfect. Okay. I always love picking up these deep sea mines. Anytime we have visitors come through the Marine Technology Center, they see the same thing. It looks like a bomb. <laughs> it's, a, it's a crowd pleaser, yeah. Let's call it little boy. <laughs> or fat man, right? Fat man. Oppenheimer comes out uh, on the 21st. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm going to check that out. Going to do a Barbie double feature? <laughs> <laughs> that would be a thing. Looks pretty clear. Yeah. Am I like grabbing it in the actual T handle slot? Yeah, I think I am. You can just put it maybe while we're flying over top of the porch again. Right and back. What's that? Rack and back. Oh, tool tray's out. Why'd you pull the tool tray out? I don't know. We were looking east and the it's like over here. Pardon? Yep. Yeah, it's back. Or is it more east? That's the sand, yeah, okay. Slow, slow so takeoff. At least there's going to be a few dives, right? I'm going to have yeah. to watch the data stream on this seismometer and be like, I buried that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the little things in life that give you so yeah. much pleasure. We'll send you a link.
Oh yeah. Um, I think the next deck op would be the recovery of the ROV, so. Um, give me one second. Uh, just hold on, I'm just going to talk to Megan here, I'll get back to you. I'll jump in with a question for Lynette. You and Rennie were servicing something under the floor in the gym. What's going on there? Moon pool. Moon pool. Yes. Yeah. I was curious about what was under the floor in the gym. So sometimes you have to open it up and make some adjustments or do some servicing? Um, we bring it up um, when we're in transit. So um, it can only really be lowered when we're going like maybe two or three knots maximum. Okay. So it's down when we're diving, but then we bring it up when we're transiting. So we're kind of constantly bringing it up and down. <laughs> right. <laughs> Something you'd probably imagine could be automated someday, right? Hopefully, yeah. Nice. <laughs> That'd be nice. Yeah. Thanks for the explanation. Yeah, of course.